Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. Our trip has officially started here in Rock Springs, Wyoming at the Sweetwater Speedway. We are here at a very beautiful racetrack. It's almost a 3 8 mile, nice high bank clay oval. This place is something else. We don't really have a track like this back home. I really wanna give you guys a good look at it up close, so let's go down here to turns one and two and check it out. The video doesn't really do it justice, but this place has some serious banking. I'm really excited to make some laps around here tonight. Now, one of the things I talked about in the last video is we are way up there in elevation, about 6,000 feet, so these engines are just not gonna run real crisp. So that'll be interesting here tonight. Anyway, typical ASCS format, we're gonna do a pill draw and that'll determine where we start in the heat race. I think we're gonna have anywhere from 25 to 30 cars. We have to advance to the front in the heat race to have a chance at starting in the top eight and they do a redraw from there so we could possibly start on the front row or we could start in Four. We ran good with ASCS Frontier and Billings. Hopefully we can repeat tonight. We're going to get it all started though with hot laps. just got done with hot laps here at the Sweetwater Speedway. This place is something else. Like I talked about, a ton of banking, and I'm not sure why, but they decided to throw a lot of water on the racetrack right before we rolled out for hot laps and wheel pack, and the racetrack was already pretty hard, so all of that just went down to the bottom, and now there's just some puddles down there, and it's real greasy. Also, I talked about the elevation. That is absolutely no joke. It sounds loud in the cockpit with no mufflers, but um, I mean, we are not going anywhere. We are down so much power in this dirty air. I'm pretty sure my Limited almost feels like it runs a little bit stronger at like the Cottage Grove Speedway. It's just crazy how much down, how down on power we are, but we pulled the number 30, so we are gonna be going out in um, heat race number three, starting second row outside. With an ASCS format, all we can do is go to the front, and I think it is gonna be a little bit tough to pass because the track is fairly heavy and it might slick off, but with just how the banking is and how they watered it, you know, the bottom I think is gonna be the strongest part of the racetrack most of the night. So we're just gonna work with what they give us, and now it's just time to try to head to, front, head to the front in the heat race. We are gonna be rolling off P4. hard at work just got done with our heat race here at the Sweetwater Speedway and back home I always talk about how the tracks usually start out you know gripped up and then it starts to get slick this place rolling out for heat one it was already insanely slick um, nobody's probably past half throttle it's just insane uh, really really dusty out there it seemed like the bottom was probably the place to be for the first few heats in our heat race it actually was really really slick in one and two and the leader was kind of running this line where he wasn't worried about hitting any grip there isn't really much out there but just using the banking and having wing in the trunk and 
and just going for it. And then in three and four, it's already starting to take rubber, like really, really quick rubber. If I was out front and it was rubber in both ends, I'd probably have my wing all the way forward, almost wide open around this place. So that's disappointing. The surface is not really holding up, but this racetrack is just insane. There wasn't any grip anywhere there for those heat races until the rubber came in. And unfortunately for the A main event, it's probably just gonna be even more rubber. And instead of having one or two lines of it, there might be multiple as it just works its way up the racetrack depending on where everyone's running. So we're gonna get our setup on to be able to do that. We're fourth in points, so we have the opportunity to either start first, second, third, or fourth in tonight's A main event. So I got some good news for you guys. We start on the pole of tonight's ASCS Frontier Race here at the Sweetwater Speedway. There was only one pill left. The first through fourth uh, drew. I was the last one to go and there happened to be a one left in the bag. So track started taking rubber there at the end of the heats. I think it's eventually gonna get to that point. They sprayed a bunch of water on it and I'm just not sure really how that's gonna play in with the racetrack. One and two might not get to the point where it takes rubber, just really, really slick, but three and four I think will definitely come in first. So being on the pole, it's all about getting a good jump, getting out front, and then trying to pick our way through lap traffic. Now this should be a really fun race. We're going for our First career 360A main event win. This is the only time I've ever started on the pole. I've started on the outside pole and I've had some luck, but um, you know, we're hoping to get our first win here from the pole of tonight's A main event. So should be fun. Got some good guys behind us, but we're just gonna be focused uh, on running good laps and um, you know chasing down that checkered flag.
Here in Rock Springs, Wyoming, man, we've met so many great people, just like the Montana trip. So many fans here in this little town. These two guys just bought merch from me. What's your name? Merrick. Your name? Boris. Boris, and these guys have been checking in with me all night long. I mean, I'm talking after hot laps, after the heat race. They gave me a good luck before the A main event. So we appreciate the support, man. Um, where are you guys from again? Um, really Colorado. Nice, awesome. So they traveled a little bit here. Anyway, um, we're gonna finish off the night here, Let's talk to a lot more fans, and just have a good one. All right, guys, we're down here at the Sweetwater Speedway. Got more fans. Um, the races haven't even actually officially ended yet. We ran second tonight, so they still had like four or five more classes. But um, had a fan that wanted to be in the videos. What's your name? Dan Adams. Dan, nice to meet you. We just met, been talking. And um, where are you from? Casper, Wyoming. Casper, Wyoming. So we got a lot of Wyoming people here. Obviously, we're in the state of Wyoming, but a ton of Montana, Idaho, everyone traveling through. So awesome to meet everyone. Night one of eight is completed in our first night being here in Rock Springs at the Sweetwater Speedway. This place was something else. It was definitely a different beast. I talked about that a lot in the video, just kind of how it's different than any track we have back home. And we're gonna encounter that a lot on this journey. We gotta talk about that A main event. You know, started on the pole and the track just did everything I didn't expect it to do. You know, that's one of the great things about coming to some of these new places. You're seeing new surfaces and gaining more experience. And the last thing I thought was the racetrack was gonna be around the top side there early and take rubber up there. That 2A car who started outside of me, I got a good jump and I kind of blew the bottom into one, but I was just kind of trying to gain some momentum and I buzzed the tires a little bit and that guy blew by me and another guy blew by my inside and I quickly fell back to fourth. And it started taking rubber around the top, so I moved up there and I kind of need to work on trusting my car and how to run it, but uh, just as the race got on, eventually I figured it out probably by, uh, by lap 14 or 15. And once we figured it out, we were rolling. I mean, dang near wide open around this place, just in a few spots where there was a lot less rubber, you know, you kind of have to pedal it, but drove it all the way back up into second and man coming to the checkered we gave it everything we had leader kind of was trapped on the bottom behind a lap car i went full throttle through the middle tried to stay in it tried to stay in it and um eventually you know he just kind of had a little bit of a better you know go off the corner probably beat me by a car length or two i tried guys i thought we might have had him we were side by side at one point but you know i just drifted high mainly because i just kept my foot in it i figured my best chance was try to slide up and catch any grip because you know he already had a better angle there coming to the checkered you know like i said just gain and more and more experience in figuring out the racetrack. I just need to work on picking up what was going on a little earlier in the race, and I think we would have had a better shot at the win. Want to thank everyone here at the Speedway, ASCS Frontier, everyone we met after the races. Once again, a huge showing. As well as on-site screeners, Swindell Speed Lab, Durango RV, Ferguson Waterworks, Knife River, ABC Powder Coating, Pit Stop USA, Lafarge North America, Les Schwab Tires, Fast Four Media, QRC, OMA KTM, and everyone on the race car, my family, our crew. I am so blessed and thankful to get to do what I do, and this is just the beginning of a long trip. So hopefully you guys stay tuned. Hopefully you were on the edge of your seat for that last lap. A bunch of people came over and said they were. So um, all of this, as much as it sucks, you guys probably saw, I might have a funny clip. I was hitting my steering wheel after the checkered. I was so mad just because I was that close and I want to win a 360 race so bad and um, you know continue to grow as a racer. All this stuff is just going to make that victory so much sweeter and as we're getting into more and more competition you know it's going to be tougher but we're going to give it all we got so see you guys all in the next video a fun first night here in Sweetwater only downside was you know the tire bill we did go through a right rear and a left rear left rear was brand new to start the A the right rear was used a little bit and you know we just got it ready for the feature but anyway probably going to be similar tomorrow night we're going to have our setup dialed because we were good there in the feature and hopefully we can just put all 25 laps together see you guys all in the next one deuces